Hello, and I'm Brandon Redeker with the Fiesta Movement at the uh, Brazil X Games, and I'm here with Andreas Eriksson from Oldsburg MSE. So I have a few questions for you today. What are the differences between the M Sport and the Oldsburg MSE GRC Fiestas? I would say there's a lot of differences that's built on two different ways. Uh, the M Sport car is obviously based from a rally car, and we build our car purposely built for rallycross. So the differences are, uh, except the body, I think, is a lot of things underneath this, the scale also. Okay. Uh, have you ever built any stage rally cars or just rallycross cars? I developed rally cars when I, <coughs> you know, earlier before I started rally crossing. So I built a lot of cars, I built like 48, 50 rally cars, so I've done a lot of those. I, I was also a driver myself, so I've been privileged to do all this wall rally and, and all these different categories of rally. So, but I felt I was much freer when I do build a rally cross car, I didn't have to have, it was more free rules. You have, this is what you can do, you can do whatever you want in this area and so on. And I like the rules, it's more, it's, a, it's a, giving me more opening of, uh, of my own three thinking and, and you know to make my own type of car instead of use the same stuff as everyone else got it uh, what modifications are done to a production car to make it ready for GRC ah, it's a minor a little wider on the body otherwise it's stock <laughs> <laughs> of course of course um, what kind of testing is done pre-season prior to the start of the GRC season Oh, it's, it's a lot of testing. Uh, we, we, we cut raw everything, we, we develop, we test, so we done. You never test enough, but we, it's a month of work. It's a half a year of work just to be here today. Well, but the, the, the key here is if, you, if you're not ready with a car when the season starts, you have to live with the problems you have. So it's really important that you have everything dialed in and working when you come. Problems we get with all the, you know, it's too many cars at the same time in the same corner we get mechanical problem anyway, so we don't need, you know, mechanical technical issues. So so I would say half a year of pre-work. Um, will the uh, cars go through any changes throughout the season as, uh, as things go on, like upgrades, aero package, stuff like that? I change a lot, I change for every track, but I, uh, I have a plan. Hopefully, you're trying to build a car that is good for all the surfaces because rallycross is a, it's a compromise. Rally, if you have a stage rally, you have a stage car. If you have a tarmac rally, you have a tarmac car. Uh, we combine everything in one thing. And then above that, we need to good, you know, we need to have a fast car on the track, but we need to have a car that is fast in the start. So to get a car perfect everywhere is not possible. You need to get it as good as possible on every surfaces. But some tracks has obviously more tarmac than gravel. And some has, like here, more gravel than tarmac. So of course there's differences in the setup from the beginning, but um, we can basically change whatever we want. But it's, it's too many things to change. It could also be really easy wrong. That's very true. Very, very true. Uh, are these similar or the same to the European Rallycross Championship? And if they differ, how so? The cars are my cars. I can I can only speak for my cars, but they are almost identically the same it's the same engines it's the same the only thing that's different is the exhaust system they want more noise here in GRC we are it's restricted 100 decibel in Europe another thing is we have we allow to run a little higher octane fuel that actually hey, help us you know with the engines better uh, but it also produces slightly more power uh, I would say that is the only two big differences uh, we also run when it's really, really warm, so we allow to have water spray to cool the car down because we have more laps. Uh, but at, in the whole thing, yes, I can take this car and rebuild it in one hour to go Europe racing and rally cross with it. So. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, would you mind uh, kind of just giving us a quick overview, just standing here, about maybe some of the big aero improvements that they make to really help uh, on these short tight courses where you don't get a lot of speed so you got to maximize everything you can you know use for uh, aerodynamics yeah on the aerodynamic side is more about the cooling uh, 
On a track like this, we don't use the wing so much. Everyone, the wing is on a track like this. The wing is more for a good look. Um, but on the faster track, and especially when the track goes over 150 kilometers per hour, we, we need the, the downforce on the back wheels. In the front, it's 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 more about getting all the air through the intercooler. Everything is about the cooling: intercooler, water cooler, oil cooler, everything. Then you produce so much power, everything is warm. And control the heat is the biggest uh, key for rallycross. And we don't have the speed, and we have the gravel uh, and the dust coming in, so so we can't use the wind so much. So it's very important that we get as much air as we can in. So I would say aeroflow is. Um, be going also really fast down to 40 kilometers up to 150 and down again so it's about optimize uh, more optimized fans and get the cooling that way than than actually the airflow but also we do this big jump so the, the design needs to be done so it can you know take a hit or two very good well thank you very much for your time i wish you the best of luck out there uh during this race and we hope to see you uh first at the finish line thank you very much thank you